Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install RxVT Unicode and to get it actually looking nice, I'm going to set it up with a nice little groove box theme uh, that I worked on. And then we're going to set up Vim to work with RxVT as well so the colors look nice. Okay, and it's just going to be a very basic Vim setup. But uh, So anyways, so what I first want to do is I want to install uh, RxVT. So I've actually got a terminal open here. I'm doing this on a Chromebook. This should be applicable to anyone using Debian or Ubuntu. Uh, so anyways, so I'm going to type sudo apt install rxvt-unicode and then uh, a dash, and I want to do the 256 color one. Okay, and we're going to hit enter and we're going to hit yes. Okay. And you can do some of the updates on RxVT right from the RxVT terminal, but it might, for this video, it's going to be easier to use this one because when I initially start it up, it's going to look pretty bad. All right, so uh, now let me go down here and get that terminal open and show you what it looks like. So <laughs> this is what it looks like by default. Okay, so... To get it to look good, I mean, the font is very visible. Visible, You have this uh, kind of like neon green here. I mean, you can work on stuff, but your eyes may burn uh, quickly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go uh, and I'm going to create an X resources file in my home directory. So, um, so we'll create the file. And the first thing I'm going to do is focus on getting the font to look somewhat nice. So to do that, I'm going to go to insert mode here and type R U R in caps, then XVT dash font or dot font, uh, colon XFT colon, and then the name of the font I want to use, let's use cuisine. Uh, and then the size I want to use size. Um, and let's set that equal to 12. And what I'm going to do is now save this and quit out of here. And what I'm going to do is run xrdb-merge, and we're going to merge the X resources. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this back up, and I'm going to shut this down with Control-D. And now, and I should probably pin this, so now I'm going to open it back up, and now you'll see that the font has gotten larger, okay? So I'm going to pin that, um, and let me pin this one too. Okay, uh, so we're, we're getting there, but it still looks pretty bad. So I want to make a dark background. So what I'm going to do is uh, vim uh, into x resources again. And now we'll go down to the next line. And I'm going to do the foreground and the background and the colors I'm going to use. I'll talk about those in a moment. Okay, so these two colors, I'm just going to do you are XVT dot uh, foreground and then a colon and then I'm going to give the hexadecimal number. I'm going to do E6, 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 which is a light gray. You are XVT dot background colon and then just do three, 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 three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save that, quit out, and I'm going to rerun the merge command. And let's shut this down and now fire it back up. And okay, so now we've got the uh, grayish background and we've got a little bit different font. So if I list out something, the, the font color is like that light gray. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go into X resources here. And now let's go down here and let's change the cursor color. So I'm gonna go you are xvt dot uh, cursor color. And then for this, this is a light yellow that I picked FAB D to F. I'll explain some of these colors that I picked in a moment. Uh, we'll save and quit, rerun the merge command. And uh, I'm going to close this out and reopen it. And now you'll see that the cursor is this light yellow. So uh, the cursor is light yellow. Nice. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. Uh, so go back into X resources here. And uh, the next thing 
uh, I'm going to do is uh, make it so I can have tabs. So what I'm going to do is run this, or I'm going to type this urxvt.pearl-ext-common colon and then tabbed. Okay. All right, so let me show you what that does. So we'll quit out of here, rerun the merge command, uh, close this out, and reopen it. And now you'll see we have these tabs up here, okay? And if I do shift down, it creates a new tab, and I can do shift back and forward, uh, the back and forward arrow keys to switch between the tabs, okay? So you can have multiple tabs in RxVT Unicode uh, without any other type of uh, plugin. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to switch a few of the colors. So let's show you some things here. So if I list out the directory, uh, there's nothing here, but let me make a test directory. So I'll make a test directory. And now if I list out the test directory, you see it's kind of this blue here. All right. Uh, and it's hard to see. So we're going to change some of these colors and then I'll speak about how I'm coming up with these changes. Well, I'll let you let you stay tuned. By the end of the video, you'll know. Okay, um, so we're gonna do urxvt dot color one, and that's gonna be cc twenty four one d, and then urxvt dot color three. That's going to be uh, d seven nine nine two one. Uh, urxvt.color10, um, okay, that's going to be uh, 689d6a, uh, and then urxvt.color12, that's going to be uh, fb4934, 4934. Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to quit, and we're going to rerun the merge command. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'll close out of both of these tabs, and reopen it, and you'll notice, hmm, that color looks a little bit different. Now if I list out, you'll see that I have this light red, and you may be noticing a theme starting to show up here, um, but we'll get to that in a moment. So I've changed the theme of these colors. Uh, the light, the blue, for listing it out, that was color 12 that I needed to change. And then um, the lower color, so let me go back over here. If we go back in, the lower colors, color one and color three, those were for the tabs, okay? And we're gonna specify that uh, specifically in a moment. So um, now I'm gonna specify the tab colors. So we're gonna do urxvt.tabbed dot tab bar dash foreground dash fg for foreground it's going to be color two you are xvt dot tabbed uh, dot tab bar uh, dash bg for background is going to be zero you are which is going to be dark black you are xvt dot tabbed dot tab dash foreground um, is going to be three and then you are xvt.tabbed.tab.background, uh, dot that's going to be one. Now, this isn't necessarily going to change a lot of what's going on here. Um, let's actually quit out of here, and let's rerun that merge command, and let's close this out. I don't know that this is going to change a ton, but um, it does change a little bit. The yellow there and the red changed a little bit. Um, and let's, and now if we shift back and forth, you can notice that this is kind of a different color here. So, uh, so that's what that did. Let's close this back out and let's go back into the X resources here. And there's a few more things I want to add with this, and then we'll get onto the Vim. So I'm going to do the next thing. I'm going to change the size when it opens up. So I'm going to do urxvt.geometry. Uh, colon, and I'm going to do 120 by, let's do 120 by 30. And then the last thing I'm going to do is get rid of the scroll bar, urxvt.scrollbar. You notice this camel case for a lot of this stuff uh, is going to be false. Okay. 
I'm going to save, I'm going to quit, and I'm going to run the merge command. And I think we're done with this. We can run everything else from our actual uh, terminal. So let's fire this back up. And now we've got a terminal that has a, a nice size when you start up, uh, kind of centered in the center of the screen. Okay. Uh, so now if I go into Vim, this is Vim off the default. It doesn't look that bad. Um, but I'm going to do a very simple Vim RC, and we're going to actually install one theme here for this video. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory. Uh, so I'm going to do mkdir-p.vim slash pack slash colors slash opt, and then I'm going to CD into that, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Groovebox Community Vim. Go here. And go here. Okay. And we're going to get the code. And we're just going to do a git clone. And we'll clone that repository. And to paste this in, you're going to do Control Alt V versus Control Shift V, which is what you use for a lot of the other terminals. So, okay, so we've got that in there. I'm going to CD back to my home directory here, and I'm going to create a simple Vim RC just to get the colors to work. So I'm going to turn uh, syntax on. I'm going to let's set the number line, uh, and then. This is important here. So we're going to set um, T underscore capital C O equal to 256. Okay, so that's going to allow me to have some color support with this terminal. And uh, then we're going to set the background equal to dark. And I'm going to do the color scheme, which I'm using shorthand for Colo Groove Box. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is, again, very simple. Um, Vim. So, okay, so now when I source out the file, you'll see it gives me that nice uh, groove box color scheme, and we're ready to do some work uh, in this terminal with Vim. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.